42 and today I decided to make this video. So today I decided to do a uh, statue that I had for quite a while and give her a proper introduction. And today's uh, figure is Subasa Reserve Chronicles Sak uh, Princess Sakura. Basically, Subasa Reserve Chronicles is pretty much a reboot of card capture Sakura uh, in an alternate reality. Uh, I'm actually very happy that they decided to bring her back from the brink. But the thing is, right now she has a continuation from her uh, from her original series, Card Captor Sakura, from a brand new um, a brand new version of the series or a continuation from where it left off at th about three or four years later. And um, when you get a chance, it's actually a pretty good series. But Subasa Reserve is pretty much from alternate reality, where uh, where Lee Sharon is an archaeologist, and Sakura is pretty much a princess of the land. But they go to alternate worlds, kind of basically it's Clamp's version of it, pretty much it's a. Uh, so, boss, uh, it's a clam's version of um, Kingdom Hearts, because they go through many alterations of their old work and then bring the old characters back. So technically, it's a Kingdom Hearts, but Japanese, which I thought was awesome. It didn't get too much rave reviews when it came to the states, but you know, eventually, hopefully. Uh, they'll do a continuation from the anime, and because the manga's already done, but hopefully someday they'll continue from there. But as you can see, Sakura is wearing her traditional native uh, princess dress. Uh, uh, basically, uh, as you can see, this is pretty much uh, how, in her world, uh, this the princess will look like. Uh, she's wearing uh, pants underneath, and basically her shoes. Uh, you know, are native to her land, and as you can see, she shows off her belly, which is pretty nice, and, you know, she has a calm, cool demeanor, and, you know, have a intricate pose, uh, you know, she has that pose of waiting for her, uh, friend, Shalron, to return from archaeological digs, and as you can see from the bottom, has her signature uh, sign, the wings, which uh, where Subasa comes from. Subasa means wings in the Japanese series. Ironically enough, the original uh, name for her was Subasa, which is ironically Shoran's name also. Um, uh, as you can see from here, there's her signa. Apparently, she was a Sega exclusive. Uh, uh, originally, you had to get her from the uh, claw machines. If you can see where it says Sega, normally that means they have to win her from the claw machines. But I love the statue. I, should, uh, you know, I have to clean her up because I left her here too long, but she's going to back to my original uh, place in my uh, collection. And yeah, I mean. Actually, it's a well-made statue, gorgeous eyes, innocent demeanor, yeah, and pretty much that's it. And, yeah, so this 42, signing off.